Good morning. This is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks from God, and we're continuing our series on revival, bringing it to America in particular, but to your country, your home, your community, and I'm continuing to share from my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times, and um, we're starting on chapter 14, and I'm going to share four um, wrong thinking that hinder you from receiving your healing. Okay, wrong believing number one. <clears throat> God uses circumstances and sickness in my life to build godly character in us. The truth is, if that if that were the truth, then we would all be very godly because we all go through sicknesses, diseases, and circumstances, and that's not how He builds character. Here is the scripture, Second Peter one four whereby as given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that's in the world through lust. So uh, God builds divine character in us. Uh, we are born again. We have God's DNA. We have the Holy Spirit in us, and we're partakers of His divine nature. Um, and the way that we grow the fruit or grow uh, in this is by making right choices, not being not being uh, put into situations, but as you go through life and you have the choice of, uh, like Joyce Meyer says, taking the grocery cart back or letting it sit there. Well, uh, someone with that character, someone who's lazy, is going to leave the grocery cart out there. Somebody with character is going to do a step beyond what everyone else is. They're going to take the grocery cart back. So. Um, you grow the fruit by finding and using opportunities to be like God and to imitate God's character. Okay, wrong believing. Um, number two, God gets glory out of my being sick. Oh, I hate that one. The truth is, if God got glory out of you being sick, why do you take medicine? Why do you go see a doctor? Because you are working against God's will if you believe that God gets glory out of you being sick. Don't take the glory away from God by taking medicine, by going to the doctor and trying to get better. Because you are stealing from God, if that's what you believe. Um, God, gets sick, God gets glory out of you being healed. But if you believe God gets glory out of you being sick, then pray for your children that get cancer so they can glorify God. And pray for... Uh, uh, your children to get AIDS so they can glorify God. You see how ridiculous this thought is. God does not get glory out of sickness or disease. The scripture is, the scriptures are Luke 5, 24 and 25. It says, he said to the paralyzed man, take up your bed and go home. And immediately he rose and departed home, glorifying God. You see, you can't glorify God for something that's not God. All sickness and disease is from the devil. And Jesus took sickness and disease on the cross with each whipping. So you wouldn't have to bear it. So, also in Luke 18, 42 and 43, it says, Receive your sight. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. So, God gets glory when you are healed. Okay? Healing, wrong believing, number, whatever number it is, three, I believe. Um, healing is past. We receive healing when we die. Well, sure, when you die, you receive healing because there's no sickness or disease in heaven. But Jesus went to the cross and bore the stripes in his back so that by his stripes you would be healed. Not when you get to heaven, when you're here on earth. He paid everything he paid for, he paid for that you would receive on earth. And if you didn't receive it on earth, you're certainly not going to receive, you're not even going to go to heaven because you have to receive salvation also. Wrong believing, um, okay, um, Hebrews 13, 8, the scripture for that was Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he went about healing all that were oppressed by the devil. So Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power and he went about healing. Okay, if if God gets glory out of healing or if um, healing is past, then there would be no more healings today. And there are healings today. I know for a fact because I lay hands on people and they get healed. But all around the world, people are getting healed. Okay? He, he went about healing. As long as there's sick people, they're going to get healed because right here it says all that were oppressed by the devil. So sickness and disease is oppression from the devil. And 3 John 1, 2. 
Beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. Okay, wrong believing, number four. God is testing me. The, the word tempting and tested are the same Greek word. The devil is called the tempter, not God. Jesus was tempted for 40 days by the devil in Luke 2. And in 1 Corinthians 3, 20, um, the Lord, uh, they're talking about the sower sows the word, and the second group of people fell away because of testing. Um, the reason, when you hear a word from God, the devil comes and tries to steal it from you by putting you in a situation. If you heard that by the stripes of Jesus you have been healed and God wants you healed and you really heard it and you're getting it in your spirit, then Satan's going to try to put sickness and disease on you to test you to see if you really have that word. If you're going to stand, if you're going to fight, or if you're going to, you're going to think and speak according to what you see, hear, feel, and taste, or if you're going to think and speak according to the word of God and receive your healing. The purpose of testing, God is not so dumb, God is not dumb, period, God is not dumb that he has to test you to see what you will do because he doesn't know. It's the devil that is not all knowing, that has to test you to see what you know about the word of God and what you believe about the word of God because he is not all knowing, he doesn't know everything you know. Okay, so he has to test you to see what you know and the test is from the devil. Um, 3 John, 3 John 1, 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. So you, the more you learn about the Word of God, the more you'll have faith to believe and receive wholeness and healing. Uh, let's see. Um, and we, I think we read that scripture in the last one. So read, um, okay, also James 2, 13, it says, um, at least no one say, I am tempted of God, for God cannot tempt anyone by evil. Like I said, tempting and testing is the same Greek word. So, I'm Robin Bremer. You're watching Walks from God, and that's it for today. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.